All right, so today what I'm doing is I'm gonna be installing, uh, not really installing, I'm gonna be putting chains on the 64. I actually already had chains, but I really didn't like the result. I had these little tiny things right here, which are teeny, teeny, tiny, and I'm replacing them with chains like this. And these are basically RC four wheel drive scale chains. And these are bracelet chains off Amazon or some shit like that. All right, so basically, thankfully, because I already had done this for these small chains, I already had the length that I was gonna need measured out. So uh, because it's going to depend on what shocks you're riding, what type of servo horns you're running, and the springs. There's so many different things that's going to vary how high your back end goes that this is really something you're going to have to, you know, do to your own uh, kit. It's not like you're going to be able to just, you know, mirror the specs off the chains that I made and then run them on your kit. But you're going to basically just do it the same way. Now, the key point to doing this modification is mounting the chains to the RC and there's two mounting points that we're going to use. Uh, I'm using the screws that screw in the uh, trunk pan and then we're also going to be using the screws that the top uh, control arms bolt onto that are basically the ones that go on the ball round head. And the reason we're doing that is because we can easily use the loop on the chain through the last loop there and that's going to be how it holds on at the axle point and then what i'm using is a keychain loop that i got off a generic keychain and with the loop it's a little bit different because the screw head also obviously is going to go through a loop that size so i'm using a washer so any type of washer that you can use pop in there that'll hold it on like that now, because I'm using such a thick piece right here, uh, I had to get a longer screw. So, I mean, if you use a small washer, like something like this, these little small washers, you're not going to need as big of a loop. See, that's going to go in like that. And then you just loop it through like that. And that's not getting past that. So when you screw it on, it's held on like so. All right, so now I'm gonna, what I got ahead and did was I made two chains the exact same. So these two chains have both the exact same amount of lengths. So once they're hooked up, they should hang and perform the exact same way. All right, let's get to putting the back ones on. So now we have them both coming off the axle at the same point. All right, and uh, I did take this, the, the shocks off, so this is all easier to do. Otherwise, it's like next to impossible to take those bolts off. Now we're just going to bring this over here and do the same thing, but on the back side. See how that look? I can't even see myself. It's too low. Well, I'll fix you guys up first. Bring it like that and drop it down. Oh yeah. Let's see how they look when they go down. Looks pretty good to me. So yeah, it's basically 
the end result right there. Look pretty darn good. All right, so this is the uh, the end result. I think it came out pretty good.